hours. Now heading out in the tropics, this is Hurricane Barrel. Actually briefly strengthened overnight, but has weakened back down to a Category 2 hurricane. Winds now sustained at 110 miles per hour, but bringing those very big impacts to the Yucatan Peninsula. The heavy rain, the surge, and the strong winds expected there today. And then it will move into the Gulf of Mexico and weaken down to a tropical storm as it moves across the Yucatan today. But then it should re-strengthen back to a Category 1 by the time it reaches landfall, either in South Texas or northern Mexico by late Sunday or early Monday. So that's still the thinking on where it's going to go. And then it will spread inland and weaken during the early part of this week. And still the upper pattern is what's driving this thing. The area of high pressure we've been sitting under is weakening and shifting off to the east. Then this trough is going to help scoop up barrel up to the north early this week. So here is what's happening with the GFS model. Big impacts, impacts across the Yucatan today. And then here comes the uh, barrel into South Texas and northern Mexico later this weekend into early this week with heavy rain and strong winds expected for South Texas and North Mexico by late Sunday into early Monday with those impacts and spreading impacts and spreading inland rather heading into Monday and Tuesday. So expecting several inches of rain across South Texas around five to seven plus inches of rain later Sunday through early this week. Plus, those strong winds will be spreading across South Texas and northern Mexico later this weekend into Monday. And that is what we have for you. Also out in the tropics, we were watching Invest 96. That has fizzled out. So there's no other areas we are watching in the tropics. And Barrel is not going to be a threat to our part of the Gulf. So southeastern Louisiana, South Mississippi, not expecting any impacts from Barrel.